Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be showing you what I picked up from the MAC Cosmetics Hypnotizing Holiday Collection. I got some really fun sets. I had a few of you actually comment that you wanted to know if I was picking anything up from the MAC Holiday Collection. So here it is. I'm going to show you. So let's get into it. I want to say a huge thank you to MAC Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. Wow! If you don't know MAC Cosmetics, how do you not? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you aren't familiar with MAC, they are a huge brand in the makeup community, especially amongst professional makeup artists. They're known for their incredible quality, the ranges of colors that they offer, the ranges of formulas. They are an extremely inclusive brand from all their color ranges, everything from foundation to lipsticks, all of that huge ranges here and great quality. MAC celebrates diversity and individuality, all ages, all races, all genders. So everything that I feature in today's video will be linked down below to maccosmetics.com. Let's talk about the benefits of shopping at maccosmetics.com. They have their Mac Lover loyalty program and you can start earning points right away. If you are part of the program, you do get exclusive deals, early access, free gifts, and a lot more. There's a virtual triumph for most products, including foundations and full looks, 24 seven order chat and chat with an artist, free returns, free samples with all orders. You can buy online and pick up in store and you can shop with Afterpay with three payments and 0% interest. If you haven't taken a look at the MAC Holiday Collection, I do think they have curated some really great sets that are going to be fabulous for gifts. Just make sure if you are ordering online, you order by December 17th to make sure that you get them on time for holiday delivery. Here's what I picked up. So the first thing is actually not from the Holiday Collection, but I cannot believe I've never tried this foundation before. So I had to try it. I picked up the Studio Fix Fluid. This I mean, is a cult classic foundation, and I can't believe I've never used it before. I've used a few other MAC foundations. I thought today was a good opportunity to finally see what this foundation is all about. I did pick it up in the shade NC27. I know the MAC shades are always used as reference for shades. So typically I am NC25 in the winter, and then come summertime when I've gotten more sun, I'm NC30. I think right now I'm definitely more NC25, but I did pick up NC27 because I'm moving to Florida in a few months and I figured this would probably be my color when I'm in Florida. So NC27 is a really great color I would say for most of the year for me as long as I'm out in the sun a little bit but my pale winter shade is going to be NC25 in case you're curious but the great thing about MAC of course is that they have such a huge shade range. I mean, they were one of the first brands to be so inclusive within their foundation shade range. So let's talk about my first experience with this. I am wearing it today and I really like it. It definitely was not what I was expecting though. I was expecting this for some reason to be full coverage and it's not. It's more of a natural finish, which I much prefer. You know, you can still see my freckles a little bit underneath. It's sitting really pretty on the skin. It just looks a lot more skin-like than I was anticipating. It does have kind of like a demi-matte finish. I don't know. I'm really liking the look of this on my skin. It looks super duper natural. It was very easy to apply. So, so far, I mean, I know this is an older foundation, but I've really been enjoying it. Let's talk about the next product that I picked up. And this is the first product that I have to share from the holiday collection. So this is the Step Right Up Extra Dimension Skin Finish Palette. They do have a lighter finish and then a deeper finish. I, of course, picked up the lighter finish. So the box has the cool hypnotizing kind of packaging. And then look at the packaging of the actual component itself. It's one of those scratchy things as a kid that you got, you know, while you turn it, it's a different photo. Really neat, really stuck to the theme very well. You do have a mirror and then it does reveal the three highlight shades. I do think MAC has an underrated highlight formula and this one did not disappoint. It's definitely a little bit more subtle, I would say, but I really enjoy the colors that are in here. You have more of a deeper gold, which is gonna fit, I would say, more medium skin tones. This is like a lighter gold and then we have a more pinky one. The pinky one I noticed has the most blinding qualities, but it still is quite natural. These highlights I noticed are not blinding, which is what I'm preferring nowadays. So I have the more golden highlight, that's the middle shape on this cheek and then the more pinky one on this cheek. And you can definitely tell the difference between the two, which for me is important. I feel like in a highlight and a blush palette, there's no point if all these shades look the same. So each of these shades definitely do stand out on their own. It sits very natural 
naturally and pretty on the skin. It doesn't sit on top of the skin. It blends in beautifully with the products that I have underneath. So I mean today is the first thing that I'm trying this but so far I am liking this little highlight palette and it is so cute. I couldn't resist. I love a good palette. <laughs> I picked up an eye set as well. So this is the Now You See Me Extra Dimension Eye Kit. They had a couple colors and versions you could pick up. I picked up the Smoky just because I really liked the products that they had in there. So the box in here is quite large so it's really great for a present and then here's what it's going to look like. So it does come with a makeup bag and these makeup bags in this collection is super interesting because both sides are like I don't know, there's two sides to it. So there's two zippers on either end and it's not one big hole. They are literally like two separate pouches. If for some reason you need to separate some of your makeup, this is a good pouch to do that. Like I could have lips in one section and eye products in the other section. Nice and small, great for travel. I like the dividers in here. So I mean, that's nice. There's also two extra dimension eyeshadows. These are one of my favorite formulas for MAC if you're going to pick up their individuals. So these colors look basic, but these colors are from the smoky set so you have more of a like a light icy white this is creative spark very pretty and then we also have tall dark and handsome which is a black this honestly surprised me today I knew I liked this formula but I thought you know they might be a little bit boring but they were really key pieces in my look today so the black has a satin finish on the eye which I find to be quite flattering and it makes the black a lot easier to work with I used it today to create a smoky eye outer corner on my eye and it blended very beautifully. I wasn't too sure how this was going to look, just blending the black out on its own on my eye and I was impressed with the quality on this. And then I also did use the Creative Spark as my inner corner highlight. I think these two would create a beautiful look together with this in the crease and this all over the lid, but they were great companions to complete the look that I was wearing today. So impressed with the quality of these, but I knew I liked this quality. There also is a Technical Liner. This is the shade Graph Black. I've never tried this product from MAC before and it's very very creamy and you still have some playtime to where you can smudge it out so it really didn't tug on my eyes at all when I put it in the waterline and I actually filmed the demo probably about two hours ago and I did just touch up this side but you can see it has lasted in my waterline a really long time and I also use it along my upper lash line. I don't see any fading yet so it's holding on strong. I really like it and I like that it has some time where you can smudge it out. So, so far I do like this eyeliner a lot. The last item in this kit is the 3D Black Mascara. I think the quality of this mascara is nice. The only thing I do will say is it's kind of a fatter wand with shorter bristles. So on my short lashes, I do struggle a little bit to reach those really short lashes in the corner. But when the product is on the lashes, it did a really nice job of both volumizing and lengthening. If you're new to my channel, I have very sparse, short lower lashes. So I can tell it's a good mascara when the lower lashes are visible. You know, they just need to be visible. So I can tell this is a nice mascara. I just have to find a better way to navigate the wand, but I like it so far. Anyways, I think this is a cute kit. I think it has some really useful products to create a full smoky eye. And so far, the quality on everything in this set seemed really good. Sometimes with set what can kind of make me take a step back. It's like, will you actually use all of the products in this set? You have to make sure they're all worth it. And for this set, I like everything, so that's good. <laughs> okay, let's move on to probably my favorite set that I picked up. Well, it's not a set. They're my favorite items. They're individual eyeshadows, and these are called the Shade Shifter Duo Chrome Eyeshadows. I picked up two. There's more shades. I wish I had picked up more shades. So the packaging of the single eyeshadows are really cute, perfect for the holidays. The first shade that I picked up was Perplexing and this is officially my new favorite formula for MAC. So beautiful. So this one is more of a blue purpley shift. It's really glittery on the eyes. I would say if you're like me and you love a good glittery eyelid, these are my favorite products from the new holiday collection. I'm not sure if MAC has come out with this formula before but it's the first time that I've tried this formula. It's my all-time favorite for MAC. I have it on the center of of my eyelids right now. You can see it really glimmering off of the lights. It has a lot of texture, but I don't have any fallout on my eyes. I didn't put 
any glitter glue down and like I said I've been wearing this for a couple hours so the eyeshadows are staying and I just love this blue to purple shift. The other shade that I picked up is Ho Ho Hocus. This one is a green blue shift. The green is probably the stronger color in here. Just as beautiful as perplexing just two different shades. I have this shade in the inner third of my eyelid and I think they both look very beautiful on my eyelids together. These are great eyeshadows to maybe consider picking up for your New Year's Eve makeup look. I love a good glittery eyeshadow so these are my favorite parts of the collection. I'm really happy to see such a dimensional shade available to the market. You know indie brands are the ones that mostly dare to play around with these shifty shades so I really do get excited when I see a more mainstream brand have these types of formulas more accessible and this is a beautiful beautiful formula for MAC so I'm very happy that I tried these out. I almost didn't and now I'm kicking myself for not picking up more so <laughs> Those are great. MAC also has a lot of phenomenal lip sets in their holiday collection. I picked up the Best Kept Secret Lip Kit in the shade Neutral. So this I would say is almost a little bit more red. We have the Lip Pencil in Bricola. Then we have the Amplified Cream Lipstick in Dark Opal. And fun fact, MAC is actually the number one lipstick brand in the world. This does not surprise me because they really do have some of the best lipstick formulas in my opinion. And they definitely have the best shade range. MAC carries basically any color you could imagine. Ruby Woo is what made them popular. It's an iconic red lip shade. I have it in my collection right now. So the shade that was in this kit is Dark Opal. And it's a nice creamy very pigmented kind of brownish red. I really like the formula of this. It had good opacity. It was very hydrating to the lips. MAC is such a staple lipstick brand in my opinion and this one is super pretty for the holidays. The last product that was in this set is the Lip Glass in Mocha Magic which is like almost like a reddish brown. I would say it leans definitely more neutral. It has some nice golden glitters that showed up on the lips. Very pretty. The shimmer to this really popped against the dark opal lipstick. Super pretty combo. I mean MAC did it for you. You also get one of these cool bags in this set. So nice little lip kit set here. They have another color available as well if you like the items that were in here. The last set that I picked up from this collection, which has the coolest packaging by the way, is this lip glass trio and I picked it up in the warm shade. So look at this. This is how you open it. So cool and the tops of the lip glasses are super cute and I love the colors in here. So we have a deeper color in the lip glass named Optical Delusion which is a ruby red with a lot of golden glitters. This is great to pair with your red lipsticks this time of year. Very pigmented as well. The lip gloss that I'm actually wearing right now is TikTok of the Town. It's more of like a creamy nude shade. It also carries quite a lot of pigment. At the current moment, I have a lip liner underneath, but nothing else. My lip is quite bare, and you can see that this lip gloss had a lot of opacity to it. It's very, very comfortable, creamy, not sticky. I like it a lot. And then finally, we have Guilty of Trickery, which is a golden glittery lip gloss. This one is a little bit more sheer, so that makes it great for layering. I'm gonna actually put this in the center of my lips right now. Mm, I love the smell of a MAC lip gloss. Do you see how strong that glimmer is? Absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favorite ideas for a stocking stuffer because it doesn't take up too much space, but there are great products packed in here. The packaging is really neat and it's been a while since I've used a lip gloss. And I forgot how good they were. They're thick and juicy. And I really am happy that I ended up with this set. So I did mention earlier that when you do order from MAC Cosmetics, you get a free sample. So I picked out a matte lipstick in the shade Chili, and it's so cute. Let me show you. Here it is compared to a full-size lipstick. It is adorable. Let's see, what does Chili look like? Ooh, it's like an orange red. That would be fun for the holidays. I love these little baby lipsticks. Awesome. Okay, so I have Chili lipstick as well. And that is everything that I picked up from the Hypnotizing Holiday Collection and a little bit more. A huge thank you to MAC Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. I love the look that I came up with. Again, as far as my favorites, though, I didn't pick up a bad item at all. I think all these sets are really great. But but these eyeshadows, amazing. I love them so much. I'm really surprised about the foundation. I think the eye set all in all was just a really convenient set that had a lot of 
staples. We love a good pre-curated lip set that really does make sense with the way that the colors work together. Just some awesome pieces all together. So again, if you are interested in anything that I picked up, it will be linked down below and will take you directly to MacCosmetics.com. Be sure if you do order online, you order by December 17th. Just make sure you get it in time. And that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I'd love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.